Hey, everyone. Hi. Hi. Happy Monday. We're the Hatch Homes Group. Thank you for joining us on our Monday housing market update. Um, this week, we actually want to go over just a, a few hot, uh, hot uh, articles that have come out. I know that a lot of people look at the Wall Street Journal and see like ads that come up in their Facebook for what's happening in the real estate market. So we just want to address some of those that we saw this week that we thought were interesting. Um, I guess I'll start with, um, I saw an article come out that was from another real estate company. Um, so they obviously have a big voice in the real estate market, right? So they uh, quoted that last month, a record 59% of homes that went under contract found a buyer within two weeks of hitting the market. So with so few homes to choose from and mortgage rates rising, some home buyers may be throwing in the towel. So throwing in the towel. <laughs> Let's talk about that really quick. Um, you know, we don't think that that's fair to say about home buyers. It's still, there's still a lot of good things in the market. Um, if you have a strategy, you'll get in. Um, and for instance, when they say 59% homes um, within uh, found a buyer within two weeks, uh, two weeks on the market is, is still two weeks to find a home, right? Like it can get really frustrated when you're like one, two days on the market and you're missing out on homes, but that's different, different topic. You can get into a home. Buyers are still getting into homes. Um, we have a, a listing recently that, you know, like took a few days longer to sell, but then we ended up getting multiple offers, but it, it was totally approachable. Like we were, we were trying to like, Hey, people don't be afraid, <laughs> like of the market, like we have listings that are very approachable for you to buy. Um, I had clients that um, recently got into contract that had to sell their home first. So their offer was subject to, and we knew it would be a little bit more challenging, but we got into a home right away. Yeah. So don't worry. remember is like not being scared because if you have the right agent behind you and with you on the journey, then they're going to be able to walk you through it. And it may just take a few times to get an offer accepted, but don't give up, you know, because it's still a great opportunity to get locked into these rates and to, yeah. you know. That sort of segues into the Wall Street Journal article, um, if you don't mind me talking about that now. Mm -hmm. uh, they were outlining how crazy it is for buyers right now. And they, they had some really good national uh, numbers and analysis. Um, and... Um, Nationally, we're seeing some of the same things that we're seeing in Portland, and some things are a little um, worse for buyers in Portland. And I just wanted to acknowledge you guys because you've it really needs um, a good realtor to make the most for the to represent their buyers and, and get the transaction successfully negotiated. And you guys have done a great, great work on that. Um, every every week I'm seeing that. But um, for example, um, from the Wall Street Journal, Boise has seen a 27% increase in average price over the past year. Uh, that, you know, and, and that they analyze lots of areas. We're not seeing that in Portland, but we are see, seeing uh, right on the average price increase. And, and just for example, we in the Gresham Trout. Um, uh, Gresham Troutdale area, we've seen a 6.3 increase over the past 12 months. Lake Oswego has seen 13%, and uh, Tiger Wilsonville, 11.2. Um, so, um, oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about um, uh, some people are getting their tax rebates, and uh, um, I saw an article where they're predicting the average. Uh, tax rebate for the average person in Port in Oregon is uh, two thousand four hundred and fifty three dollars. Now that represents twenty percent of a three percent down payment, significant amount. So, um, what else can think about that? Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. There was one other article that I wanted to share about um, the Federal Reserve. Um, we've all seen these record low interest rates, and a lot of it has to do with the Federal Reserve holding on to the mortgage-backed securities. They currently hold like $2.2 trillion of the mortgages in the country. And somehow they're just kind of holding on and going on autopilot. So that is a big reason why we're seeing the demand also get driven up is because interest rates are low and it's fantastic for a buyer to 
find it. But you combine that with the perfect storm of the low inventory. And at some point, I think that means the Federal Reserve is going to have to release something and they're going to have to increase that interest rate to kind of balance out the market. And so just want to keep that in mind and keep a close eye on it because I personally think that we're not going to see like the mortgage rates go crazy over more. Like by the end of the year, though, it could be closer to 4% and that can make a huge chunk, like a 12 to 15% change in your monthly payment. So let's keep an eye on that. Let's um, talk about that if you have questions. Yeah. And I would say for sellers, that means that don't, you know, like if once interest rates go up there, we're, we're going to see the, the market like balance out. Right. So we're not going to see like these crazy bidding wards where maybe we're not, maybe we're going to see a plateau and in price increase. And for buyers who would say, okay, well, maybe like there's going to be a bubble that will burst. It's not a bubble. It's a plateau. You know, we saw it in two, 2017, we had double digit price increases. And then for a few years, it just kind of balanced out. So, um, so it's still a good time. I saw, I saw, I saw inventory up this week. I was like, so happy, so happy to see some homes come on the market. I mean, it was really great for our buyers too. Yeah. Another thing that uh, came to light in, I was thinking of the Wall Street Journal article, they talked about Manhattan, New York um, market coming back because there was a big exodus um, during the, the pandemic and uh, that's starting to see condos uh, in um, Manhattan uh, start to be uh, transactions increasing significantly. And I could predict that's going to happen in Portland. We've seen in uh, downtown area, especially with condos, we've seen um, um, oversupply and uh, lack of demand uh, as people are trended to move move out less desirable. And I can see that reversing. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that, you know, a bit with my downtown and Pearl condos as well, an uptick in um, activity, whereas it has been kind of yeah. been very low activity for through COVID. Um, speaking of, we have a great condo listing in the Pearl <laughs> that I wanted to feature. Uh, so let me just share my screen real quick. Um, this is at the Lexus. Um, it's uh, 1125 Northwest 9th. This is um, unit 315. So we're on the third floor. Um, we're listed at 325. It's a true one bedroom. So sometimes when you're looking for, if you're a buyer looking for a condo, it might be listed as a one bedroom, but a lot of times they're like half walls. So it's not like a real bedroom with an actual door. This is a real bedroom, actual door. Um, and it, plus it has this cute little office nook. So you walk in, you actually have an office space too. So that's really nice. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. A lot of bedrooms that'll be listed as a one bedroom, but you see how this wall doesn't go all the way up. That's that's how the bedrooms are. This is just the office space, but it's a good example. Um, it's got updated kitchen, stainless steel appliances, um, recent all, all recent paint. Um, and the cool thing about this building actually is that you can uh, short-term rent it for a minimum of seven days. So for people that maybe have um, aren't here all the time, um, and they want to make a little bit of income. A lot of condos do not allow you to short-term rent. Um, and this is right next to the Marriott, which you can see that yellow uh, Marriott. But, you know, the cool thing about being right there is um, you have you have liveliness. Sometimes you go into neighborhoods downtown or in the Pearl and they feel kind of creepy and quiet. Some of them do. This feels like there's activity happening. Like, you know, there's cafes it's open at um and um, this just has really good um, light, has a nice little balcony. That's nice. Um, what are the cross streets here again? Ninth and what? Uh, Marshall. Okay, that's good. Close to the yeah, river. It's like that efficient uh, AC um, heat pump. Got a walk-in closet in the bedroom too. Um, look at that. Whoa. Good size bathroom. <laughs> uh, laundry, in-unit laundry, which is another thing. It has a sweet um, outdoor um, communal area in the building. It has a gym, it has a meeting room. So some really great building amenities um, right next to a, a dog park um, and just these beautiful pearl attractions. So if you have any um, a curiosity about downtown pearl condos, uh, we would love to answer them and um, love to show you this unit and sell it to you. <laughs> Um, but that's what we got for you today. Thank you for joining us on our Monday market update and we'll see you next week. Have a good week.